Hey guys, it's Derek, the Children's Pastor at Lakewood Christian Center. I'm going to show you how to do this card trick that uh, Dodo did just did recently. And he used his cards. He got his uh, face on them. And the trick is really cool because you can kind of give the cards to, to somebody else and they do the, the magic. Anyway, um, this comes out of almost any standard uh, card magic book. It's called Out of This World. And the idea is to do exactly what you saw in the video. You, you have someone separate all of one color and another color. You could do suit and suit if you wanted to. You could make it more complicated. Whatever you wanted them to separate it into, you could make them do it. And all it all it takes is this, some simple setup. And uh, let me get the. Now, of course, you don't want to use the jokers or the whatever this card is. Run all the other cards, reds and blacks. And to set up the trick, what I what I like the deck to be in. I like it to be pretty much in in new deck order. You get all your diamonds, all your uh, clubs, all your hearts and then all your spades and just from uh, I do it from two to ace, two to ace, two to ace, two to ace and get it all in order and so which these are all kind of separated from the game because I just grabbed them right off the uh, table but basically this all works by using the back of the card okay so you need a specific type of card, a, a normal bicycle deck you're not going to be able to use for this because you can't tell if the card is right side up or upside down. All right. So you're not going to be able to easily do this trick that way. All right. Because the way it works is you'll have the deck all set up and then you make sure every card in the deck is right side up like this. Then you take all your black cards or all your red cards, whichever you want to do, and turn those upside down. So now you know that all of one set of cards is right side up and all the other set of cards is upside down. So then when you're going through the cards to, to give them to the people, what you're really doing, it looks like you're randomly passing out cards. And you can make this look a little better by not having a card like this that's in a picture. You can get one that's got a uh, one-way deck theme to the back of it where you can easily tell what, which way it is, but somebody else might not be able to. Or, but uh, it works for this, especially for kids, it works great. Anyway, so if it's right side up, you give it to this person. If it's upside down, you give it to this person. And then you just do that. And it looks pretty random to do it like that because it just looks like you're giving us a certain amount to one person and you can make it you know I, I had times where I'd pull up the card and I wouldn't necessarily immediately know oh that's upside down or down and I'd go oh and then I'd give it to them and you know you just make sure that you keep putting the same cards with the same thing so that all of them are up and of course, I don't know what this deck ends up being because I didn't set this up. This is uh, just pulled off the table right after we did the trick. Anyway, so that's the first part. So that gets, yeah, see, it's not perfect right now, but that would get all the red cards to this person and then all the black cards to this person. How does that help you? Well, let me show you. You pull out your cards to show them where they're going to put theirs. So that's you say this. If you know this person has the red cards, you're going to put the red cards furthest away from you. So you say you want to put your red cards here, and then you want to put your black cards here. So these are the ones that are they'll be red, but you're going to have a black one in it. Okay. Then you do the same thing over here, except for you swap it. You say I want your red cards here because all theirs are going to be black. Alright, 
So then they'll separate these out. I'm just going to put some. Now, you know all these are red, all these are black. And usually when they put them down, they're going to be more like this. Especially if you blindfold them like Dodo did. They're going to be all over the place. So you say, okay, you fix this pile, you fix this pile, and then you're going to fix these. And when you fix these, you take these and put these in your hand, and then take these and put and do them as well in the same hand. Then you're, what you're doing is you're switching. So you grab this side, which was over here, and you put it down over here, and it's that simple. Now, these are all red, these are all black, these are all red, these are all black. You can do a reveal that amazes everyone because it, it seems as if the two people that here were the ones that did it. And it's best, I, I always find it funner to make it like it's a contest and that they tied at the end because they got them all right. So, enjoy that guys. See you next time.